the National Television Awards, live from the Royal Albert Hall. I think that might be for me. News at 10, back in the new year. As it happens, our next award goes to someone who's used to making the headlines, but who is about to get a big surprise. It's the Special Recognition Award, which celebrates a unique contribution to television. This year's recipient is most closely identified with a program which has helped transform a niche show for enthusiasts into a must-watch program for millions of fans. He's also been the driving force behind highly acclaimed documentaries and historical profiles. He's famous for his and for his frank and fearless approach, and his sense of humor has made him one of the most popular faces on our screens. If you need any further clues, then take a look at this. Now, we've been told that in this new series, we've got to feature more green cars. So, uh, here's one. <laughs> Pretty well anything that moved anywhere in the world, the profits from that transaction ended up here. All we do in this country is Put all the bits together and nail the dashboard in place. It's pathetic. The last hundred years has seen man take his biggest ever leap, and it's all down to one thing. Speed. To start the clock. Yes, 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 yes. Five, four, three, two, one. It's generally believed that Jeremy Clarkson is a very popular broadcaster. By Jeremy Clarkson, yes. Yeah. But is it true? Uh, and how do we know? People in Wales like it. No, they don't like him in Wales, actually. Birmingham. Birmingham. No, 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 not Birmingham. Eye ties, wops, frogs, bubbles, huns, krauts. People in America, no, they don't like him in America. If you're thinking of coming to America, everybody's very fat, everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. There must be a reason for his popularity. But he doesn't use any very long words. Shut up! He's uh, Shut up! noisy, Shut up! impatient. Cracky, it's difficult, isn't it? I thought the questions would be quite simple for this. I, for instance, am about to go for a ride on the world's fastest roller coaster here in Blackpool in the rain. Very much. However, I've been joined by my mother. The headmaster say to us, <laughs> and I think I know what he meant. This is brilliant! He always said there were two opinions. <laughs> There's his <laughs> and the wrong one. Look at the field. That is ruined. Yes, we did that in just one day. And there are eco-mentalists who will tell you that that will take about 25,000 years to recover. No, they don't care! He speaks his mind. Mm. <laughs> what there is of it. <laughs> it won't take long. <laughs> You've got to get this round. Yeah, exactly, but you can only... No! Of course, we are, um, ideally suited for the job in hand. I trained as a local newspaper reporter. Now, this one, for instance, is seriously lacking in the door department. Top speed is 200 and... Tell you what, let's find out. Jeremy Clarkson's greatest gift is that he's a marvellous storyteller with a distinctive yet clear style and an irresistible sense of humour. At the same time, he still remains resolutely politically incorrect and nonconformist, particularly in his dress sense. In other words, he's scruffy. <laughs> the foot. The shoes. <laughs> well, Your shoes is not good because they are dirty. Well, that's because there's dog shit all over Paris. No, 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 no. And Jeremy's never been afraid. He didn't just accept things. He always had to put his point of view. Kane managed to load the pit by himself, took aim. His documentaries are, to my mind, possibly the best things he ever does. Of the 12,000 men who came here, only 3,900 got out again. However, 
the battle produced some of the most astonishing feats of bravery in British military history. I think one of the crucial things about Jeremy is he is driven by the story. Yes, well, that's a fair point. He will get his nose into a subject, and he does get quite... Slides, cannon, machine gun, massive fire coming from that bank. Aiming straight for that. What's the impact going to be like? The mad, the outrageous, the brilliant Isambard Kingdom, Brunel. And he does have an annoying habit of really caring about what he's doing. And then, really, when you get towards the end of a day and you think, let's go out, he tends to think, no, 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 no. Here we are, going further north than any car had ever been before. Riding on a thin crust of ice over an ocean 1,500 feet deep. This is If we go in here, we're dead, aren't we? Yep. I mean, dead. Jeremy Clarkson is, and they hate me for saying this, well on the way to becoming a national treasure of the cuddly variety. You know, we are now the most northern people in the world. Apart from Michael Parkinson, obviously. <laughs> I'm doing this! I did a roll! And in a 15, I did a roll! <laughs> Look at that! No, he doesn't take life seriously, I don't think. He's here to enjoy himself. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> the passion is no! foremost. No! It's not just a job to Jeremy, it's his life. Oh, this is just absolutely, unbelievably fantastic. That looked awful. I, I'm staggered. <laughs> just watch this. Watch this. Do not let me down now. Epic, honest, honest, honest. Be good off-road. No matter what you say. <laughs> well done, mate. But you're still a big daft cock. Yeah. The recipient of this year's special recognition award is the great Mr. Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> As, as you can see, as, as, as you can see, I, I, don't, I don't have the trophy with me, but I know a man who does. He shares your passion for driving and for speed, and he's one of the most exciting things on the world stage of sport these days. Will you please welcome Mr. Lewis Hamilton? <laughs> How you doing? You good? <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to be here this evening to present the Special Recognition Award. <laughs> Growing up... <laughs> Please. Growing up, Top Gear was always one of my favourite shows, and like me, and it still is today, and like me, I've, uh, I share the same passion as you, as Jeremy, for cars, their well, speed. Sleeping. 
is their sleeping. For cars, their speed, their grace. And he's always got something interesting to say. And apart from the last time, he always seems to make me laugh. Apart from the joke he made about me. I made a joke about you? I believe he did. What did I say? I think it was something about China, about me crashing off. Oh, you did a bit crash. You crashed a bit in China, yeah. Are yeah. you really going to Switzerland? <laughs> I mean, really? Because, Lewis, there are 187 countries in the world. Switzerland, for God's sake. <laughs> Belgium, yes, maybe, but Switzerland, no, that's... <laughs> anyway, listen, I would just like... Uh Jeremy, Jeremy, I had no Jeremy. idea. I had no idea that Lewis was going to be here. I, I had no idea. I couldn't understand why there was a film of me going on. I would just like to really congratulate you on a phenomenal year. I've been supporting you all the way along. You are a superstar. Oh. This is for you. Well, thank you, but... Oh. Until Fernando Alonso, his eyebrows are too big. <laughs> which they are. Ladies and gentlemen. No, thank you so much, Lewis, and thank you, everybody, for this. I don't quite know... I don't really quite know what to say. Normally, I prepare before I speak on television, but I, I haven't had a chance because I didn't know this was going to happen. I, I suppose I was a bit miffed the other day when I, um, when I heard that Al Gore had won a Nobel Peace Certificate, but this more than makes up for that, so... Um, and I, I, I guess I have to say it, as you do after every press conference, and I laugh and mock you for it, for thanking the team, but really, Top Gear is a team... Well, it's not a team, actually, it's a playground. Um, <laughs> and it isn't work, it's just the most fun in the world. The rest of the stuff is quite hard, but Top Gear is the most amazing fun. It's tremendous. We're very much looking forward to having you on in a couple of weeks' time. I know you're coming down to try your hand in the reasonably priced car. It's be <laughs> something else. Actually, Even though your boss says you can't drive something that isn't a Mercedes, but we'll I'm sort actually, that one I'm out later. To, I'm actually looking forward to you giving me some tips on the road. Yeah, no, listen, the Stig will sort you out, don't yeah? worry. He's, yeah, he's, he's really quick. <laughs> Top Gear is a team, as I was saying. They're a, they're a fantastic bunch. You've no idea what fun they are to work with. In, in particular, our producer, Andy Wilman. He's... Uh, <laughs> Simon Carroll applauding, first of all. He's a very clever man. Very, very clever man. He's, well, he's got me up here. Uh, my mother, too. What a lovely thing she said, too. I thought that was very kind. My whole family, my wife, my children, all just tremendous, very supportive, and don't mind me never being at home. And then, of course, there's James and Richard. Without whom... Without whom... Actually, this still would have been possible, so... <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. See you all soon. Bye. We're taking one more break. When we come back, the final awards of the evening, we'll find out who won the Views poll for Most Popular Talent Show. And there's one other big...